welcome back to this channel and in this video I'm going to be talking about a few things that I got in the past that I kind of now regretted. So let's get started. So I have categorized into fashion and beauty and one miscellaneous thing. So uh, I just want to show you the things that I had bought in over the last maybe 3-4 years and I have not been able to use it as much as I thought I would or I just don't like it at all or it's not something that I expected when I bought it first. So yeah, I thought I would just show you guys these things so it's like a heads up for you also. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with fashion. I have two dresses and one uh, pair of shoes. So as of dresses, I have this one play suit that I got uh, from Forever 21 and it's such a beautiful play suit by the way. It's so nice. It has a ruffle bell sleeves. It's nice color, floral pattern, everything. But yeah, so this is what the place it looks like. Thing is, this is nice, but I've never worn it more than once. I just took this on, my, on a vacation once and that's the only time I wore it. So, and this was not affordable or anything. It was pretty much on the expensive side. So I don't think it is worth it for how much I paid. Uh, also, a few concerns about this was that it's extremely transparent. Like it's so transparent. And you have this tie up in your bust area where you have to tie it up and uh, again it's not as practical as I thought it would be so again kind of not your regular play suit and obviously it's very pretty short I got it off of Mintra and I so I didn't get to try it on so when I first got it I was just like okay this is a lot shorter than expected and a lot more transparent so, but I didn't want to return it and go through the whole returning process because it still fit. So yeah, I wore it once. I think I'll put up a picture here right now. It's a good play suit, but um, I just don't wear it as often as I thought I would. So kind of a bummer, but yeah, it's a nice one. I like it still. I just hope I wear it somewhere. But now we can't travel anywhere. So the chances of me wearing it is even more less. But yeah, so this is one thing I wish I had not bought. So the next clothing item that I got is actually a blouse and it's this one and I got it off of H&M I think I'm not too sure I don't have the tag on but this blouse is actually I also got this off of Mintra so uh, again did not get to try it on but when I got it I was very very aware of the fact that it has this huge slit in the sleeves so I knew I, what I was getting into and it is like one crazy bug pattern. In my mind I was kind of styling it as if like uh, wearing like a high waist black jeans and tucking this in and that look really really formal and uh, yeah it does. It turned, it turned out to be exactly what I thought. But again there are not many occasions where you can wear this and go up and not look like uh, someone that was trying too hard. So I don't wear this as often as I thought I would do again but yeah and I also actually don't like the design I don't like the whole bugs all over it not my thing um, so yeah this was actually pretty affordable it was around it was less than thousand bucks but still again like if you're gonna pay something you know you have to wear it and it's also white and I got a lot of makeup stains on it so yeah overall I may, I may have worn this maybe like three times uh, one, of the, one of the times I worn it was for a launch event, so I'll put up a picture again somewhere here. So, yeah. This was one time I thought I would explore with my uh, clothing choices. It turned out to be a fail, so I'm just gonna stick with what I'm comfortable with that are classic and plain solid colors. No experimenting for me. Doesn't work for me. And the last fashion item is, I think I just have only one pair of shoes. So in the last two years I've become more of a flat person but before that I used to wear a lot of heels and everything like that. I was obsessed with heels. But I always got the safe classic set of heels like just black, red and stuff like that. No prints or anything. Again, one time I thought it was a good idea to experiment it. This was like years ago. This was like four years ago I got this pair of heels. It is. <laughs> It's this. Look, look how tall it is. It's like over 4 inch easily and it. this is also platform so it was extremely uncomfortable to walk in it 
and I we, when I first got it, I knew it wasn't the most like efficient way to invest your money in something like this. But I thought, okay, maybe if there is if you're going for like a wedding or something or like a photo shoot, you can wear it. One of my blog posts had uh, I had featured this heel in, and honestly, it was so hard to style it because it has like the most random colors uh, in it. Even if it was at least black, I could have done something better but it was like green and blue and the green is not even a cute green it's like an ugly green so oh it's like two shades of green actually so it was very very hard for me to style this so and once one time oh <laughs> i just broke it oh no okay i just broke it so this is a good reason for me to like probably get rid of it i guess anyway my mom's gonna be so mad it looks like it has gone through a lot. Honestly, I wore it once, twice. One for the blog post and one for a day or shopping. And I thought it was a good idea for me to wear like a this big of a heel for shopping where you're gonna like walk around of places and over the mall. I was crying at the end of the day when I was shopping with this thing on. Obviously, even if it was three inches, it's gonna hurt your feet. But yeah, I was crying and I wanted to go home. I became so crampy and it hurt. The next day also, so not it is not at all like practical to wear this at all. Uh, so and again, this was also pretty expensive. But not a fan of it. Not a fan of the design. Not a fan of the height. Not a fan of how it uh, wears. So yeah, it's, it was it was one of those things where I immediately regretted after I bought. It. I was like, shit, I should not have gotten that. So. so those are all the fashion items that I have. Uh, the next, I want to move on to like beauty items and uh, yeah i have a bag full of things that i regret buying <laughs> okay let's start off with what i see first the first thing that i'm seeing is a sunscreen actually and mind you most of the things that i got from here are from nika so it was all online purchases so if anything that went wrong it's because i was not able to try it in person uh, so yeah i came across this after so many uh, scrolls I came across this it is the biotech bio vera 75 plus SPF so that is what caught my attention I was like oh 75 plus that's great it's good for Chennai summer let me get it and it's also pretty tall I will I was like it's gonna be perfect it's ideal uh, it's also very very affordable it's like less than oh, okay it's not affordable it's 600 rupees but hey it's pretty tall so I was like oh, cool you're getting good uh, quantity for the money you're paying I was like okay let's try it out so I got this after a day or two and oh my god the smell in this is really really bad um, oh it's so bad it is like it just fills your room with that scent or fragrance I don't know what it is right but it's not pleasing at all and I didn't like this mainly because of the fragrance and if you put it on your face you're gonna smell like that your face is gonna smell like that that is so sad and I did not like it also it was very very greasy and it for some reason felt like I was producing more oil because of the grease that I was having on my face and with the heat and everything it was not working out for me and I didn't really see it doing any, anything in terms of protecting from the sun so yeah I didn't like it I stopped using it I tried so hard to finish it because it's such a big bottle and it is not necessarily travel friendly so I wanted to finish it and like get rid of it but the smell is just too much so I just stopped using it and I bought another one next I'm moving on to like makeup stuff and this one is one of the first eyeshadow palette that I got also off of Nika and it is the makeup revolution you can see how old it is it's the makeup revolution ultra eyeshadows uh, palette this was 1500 rupees and it got it came with a lot of shades like as you can see it came up came with so many shades and if you think about it it's actually affordable you get good amount of product and it's a good deal right that's what you think when you buy it but when i first got it um i when i tried it it was not showing up on my face the pigmentation was not there the texture is too smooth so the longevity is extremely low and main thing is pigmentation i was not seeing anything happening on my eyelid so but if you swatch it on your hand it was fine on your eyes it just doesn't show up so i just stopped wearing it on my eyes but what i did was i only these two colors i could get it to show up on my face 
these two these two colors black and that really really dark brown so i used that for my eyebrows and i was using that for like a good six months and then i got tired of it and it's not travel friendly again i mean it comes with a huge mirror and all but it's too big to take it anywhere so yeah i stopped using this after a while again uh, i gave it a shot but yeah it was too much work for me to just fill my eyebrows with this huge palette so next also a makeup product it is the maybelline color show blush this is like old this is like three years old and i got this off i first of all i broke it this day i got it because i just dropped it on my bed and it broke i dropped it on my bed and it broke but the color is beautiful it's like a pale pink color not too intense and everything and just watch it like it would look good on a person who's really really pale but on my face it looked really bad and also it has shimmer in it so not necessarily a fan of that but it was an expensive rose around 200 bucks or less than that honestly so i was not too mad about it but yeah didn't wasn't enjoying this as much as i thought i would one more product under beauty is this lipstick that i got off of nika again it's from nyx this lipstick is so difficult to wear um it was around 700 rupees but this lipstick is so patchy i got i got a fairly darker shade um so this is how this color looks like it's honestly a really pretty color it's like really dark pink and i i was very excited to buy this and try it out but again it was so patchy not transfer proof no longevity whatsoever and i just didn't think and it also accentuates the lines that you have on your lips so i don't reach out to this lipstick as much uh, anymore so yeah so the last two products that i'm going to show under beauty are concealers i've never had a good luck with concealer because it my under eye is a pretty bad um and pretty dark so finding the right color is really difficult for me because my face is different color and my under eyes are completely different so just matching that is really complicated so i never got any luck with that but this concealer from maybelline the instant age rewind was a very very hyped up concealer right um and it launched in india pretty late so i was thrilled to try this out and it had only like limited number of shades on nika because it was only available in nika at that time from the available shades i got whatever i thought thought would fit my skin tone and i got this one when i tried it it was too pink toned for me the undertone was too pink for me so i couldn't um wear it just this i had to mix it up with my foundation and do the other mixing things to make it work but coverage wise it's a nice concealer i i enjoy it i still use it i'm not it's not one of those products that i just don't use it anymore i still use it but i wish it came in the right or wish i bought the right shade love the packaging and everything 10 on 10 but just the color is too pink for me so all the other products that i showed before are from nika like online products right online shopping so that's fine if it goes wrong it's understandable but this concealer from mac that i got i went to the store and i bought it so i was there i tried it on when i bought it which is the which is the reason why i regret it even more so it's such a nice concealer honestly this concealer is the best concealer i have ever tried it is so nice the pigmentation is beautiful it doesn't cake up stays on for a long time it gives you like a smooth finish for some reason it's nice i love this concealer but when i tried the store it it matched my skin but when i bought it and i came home and i tried it it was too dark for me so this shade is nc45 and it is way too dark for me which is really sad this is the concealer it's way too dark for me it's almost orange so i kind of use it like a corrector but i genuinely wish i had this in the right shade because the formula of this concealer is beautiful but it's just not the right shade so i had to wear it under my foundation and just cover it up with more foundation to just match the color but yeah so those were the things that i had to show for beauty there's just one more thing that i bought in my life that i absolutely regretted is from miniso and i got this eye patch thing eye mask thing and it was not necessarily cheap it was like 250 rupees for this and i have never worn an eye mask at all i was at miniso store 
and when you're there everything seems like oh i need this i need this even though you really don't need it but i just got it out of impulse and don't like it i don't wear it it just takes up so much space it's like fairly huge but it looks good it looks cute it's like nice pink with like a black uh, strap satin all of that all that is fine but do i use it no have i ever used it before no will i ever use it in the future also no so i just don't think uh, it's so smart purchase so so those are all the things that i had bought before but i wish i hadn't and um if you like this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there's new videos every week and if you have any other video suggestions then leave them on the comment below i'll probably do them and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye so it was, it's a good play uh, playlist it's a good play suit the first thing is again i said <coughs> oh